Good morning, afternoon, and evening. Depende sa kung anong oras kayo nakikinig. <laughs> so, I am Kat from Lighthouse, a social media campaign that aims to inform and educate families, particularly Filipino parents, about the underlying problems that lead to their kids developing negative self-body image and how we can empower all children regardless of their body type in promoting body positivity and self-confidence. Again, we are a lighthouse and we believe that empowering kids starts at home. My partner, Yen and I, have gathered bits of our interview from our partnered licensed psychometrician and let us now listen to it. So how do schools become a factor in kids' self-confidence development? Po? Okay, so schools naman. Mm-hmm. So, ako naman, uh, I'm exposed to this since I am practicing nga uh, my teaching profession then. Mm-hmm. Okay. Schools become a factor in kids' self-confidence development because it is their second home where a great part of themselves is being developed. Activities, people, and different situations happening in schools contribute to kids' development of their self-confidence. Educational curriculum and programs are designed being implemented alongside the aim of developing kids' self-confidence. the role naman of schools. Mm. So, ibig sabihin ba, miss, kapag hindi masyadong na-highlight or na-hoon yung skills ng mga bata, it tends to give them a low level, self, a low level of self-confidence, parang ganun? It could be. Kaya nga, um, di ba, sa mga starting years pa lang in school, in kinder, grade 1, mapapansin natin na yung curriculum is designed in a way that the children are, ex- are, are need to be exposed, need to express themselves. Kaya nga, kaya nga di ba sa simula ng pagpasok, introduce yourself. Diba? On that simple activity, on that simple activity, binibigyan ng chance sa student na ipakalala ang kanyang sarili. And kumbaga, it's a small step in developing their self-confidence as well. Hmm. Paano yun, Miss? Na-curious lang ako, ah. hindi, hindi to kasama sa interview questions. Pero like, um, halimbawa, kasi di ba sobrang dami ng estudyante sa sa isang eskwelahan. Mm-hmm. Tapos syempre lahat yan, it has their own different, you know, mm-hmm. um, forte, ganyan. Paano natin mamimake sure na yung each student na yun will, will, ano, will be able to express their own talents, their own skills, their own, you know, forte sa, sa school? Okay. So, will probably help them, ano, like parang feel fulfilled and at least, ano, like parang, you know, self-confident sa mga bagay-bagay nila. Oo, kasi kung titingnan mo, no, isang teacher lang, for example, then let's say 40 to 50 students. So, if, if bawat isang yan, may kanya-kanyang needs yan. And of course, we um we also acknowledge the, multi- the multiple intelligence kung tawagin. Mm-hmm. So yun, on that part, teachers naman, they are equipped, inaral naman nila yan, tinitrain naman sa kanila yan, on how to conduct, let's say, for example, activities in cater the multiple intelligence. Kasi, kumbaga is, uh, hindi na tayo dun sa time na sasabihin lang natin na yung matalino is yung lagi nakaka-perfect score. Mm-hmm. Diba? So, as teacher, kung si, si student here is, let's say, for example, um, laging fail or mababa ang score sa math, and then try to acknowledge the so-called multiple intelligence and say, think about na baka hindi nga naman math yung intelligence niya. Baka nasa words. So, that, saan mahusay yung bata, dun siya mas kinuhong. Ayun. Miss, may isa pa ulit ako. Okay. <laughs> Pero ano? Pero like ano, paano po naman nakaka-apekto or like paano possible na nagkakaroon ng factor yung yung school in terms of yung parang perception ng isang bata sa pangangatawan niya, sa type of body niya, ganun. Meron po ba? 
Um, sa dami ng nangyayari sa pang-araw-araw sa school, sa dami ng nakakasalumuhan ng batang yan, aside from his or her classmates, talagang meron. Di ba? Talagang meron. Tsaka ano, even sa it, it, instructional materials, kaya nga dapat very careful eh, in, in let's say, using uh, instructional materials. Kasi sometimes, kumbaga, unconsciously, na nai-instill sa students na ito yung preferred body image na tanggap ng lipunan. Kasi kadalasan ang ginagamit ay yung mga balingkilitan. Alam mm-hmm. niyo yun, yung mga ginagamit na terms. ba diba? Parang unconsciously pinipigilita sa bata na ito yung ideal or basihan natin para masabi na ay kumbaga standard for beauty. Mm-hmm. Kaya dapat careful pa rin. Tsaka may mga subjects din iman talaga na kumbaga ay um, devoted in in this kind of topic na kagaya ng sa inyo. That's good to know, yes. <laughs> For more podcasts regarding children's self-esteem and body image, visit us at Lighthouse. LighthousePH.fb on Facebook, LighthousePH.ig on Instagram, and of course, LighthousePH.tk on TikTok. See you there!